Hey up guys, it's Farmer Dahlia at Cannon Hall Farm. Uh, I'm heading down to the Shire Horse Pen today to see Farmer Ruth and also Blossom. Blossom, is uh, she's in a little bit of training at the minute. Um, it's actually to get a rug on her. So that she does tend to, as summer, spring and summer approach, she does tend to have quite a lot of problems with flies. They tend to bother her more than they bother the other, the other horses for one reason or another. So today we're going to get some training in on putting the rug on, which sounds silly, but uh, horses have to get used to absolutely everything. And that includes putting this, uh, this rather fetching, <laughs> very fetching rug on. So uh, Ruth's just down here, we'll go see her and uh, see how we're getting on with it. Right then, here we are. Oh. You alright there, Ruth? Hi guys, yeah, we're fine. We're just uh, showing her what's going off. She's just been a little bit more upset. It's quite a bit windy today, which is not ideal. So we're just showing her. She has had this on before, uh, but it wasn't as windy, so we'll see how we go today. Here's a good girl. So why does she need this on, Ruth? I'm a bit, I'm a little bit, uh, I don't know all the details. Right, Blossom suffers from uh, sweet titch, which is absolutely awful for horses. So what that is, it's where the horses are actually allergic to the saliva of flies. Now that makes them extremely itchy and so she'll rub and rub and rub and rub and rub and she'll make herself sore. So in fact that she, she can actually rub a mane and a tail off. I think, do you want it on now? Is that happy? Yeah, so what we've started to notice, obviously the weather started to warm up as a good girl. Um, and um, with the rain and everything, the flies are starting to emerge. So I want to get this rug on her and hopefully keep it on her. And then we can start to stop and prevent that itching before it actually starts. The wind's probably been the saving grace this past week because it's been wet enough and warm enough to really, for the flies really to start coming. But it's also been gale force winds near enough every well, day. So that's it. kept them at yeah, bay. I mean, it's, it's, been, it's been like, right, okay, I need to get this rug on. But there's, they don't like the wind. These two especially don't, do you? You don't like the wind at all. Um, so again, like I say, it's blown the flies away, but we now need to get to a point now that I can get this rug on her and keep it on her. Hopefully she won't rip it, fingers crossed. Um, and then we can keep these flies away and she'll be at peace with herself and she'll be a lot more comfortable. It's a good girl. Like I was saying, there's a bit of training involved. She ain't just going to start to wear it perfectly every time. So uh, let's see, <laughs> let's see how we get on. Uh, and has anyone noticed the rather fetching uh, fabric that this this rugs in? So we'll uh, yes, we're going to have a zebra at the farm in the next five minutes. Right, right. Let's get started. Come on, then, sweetie. Good girl. Well done. Stand up. All right. Good girl. Stand. 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 Good girl. Well done. We've got tasty treats to reward her when she stands. Stand up. Good girl. And what we're going to do, we're just going to slowly manoeuvre it round her. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. Stand up. Stand. Good girl. That's it. It's okay. It's all right. Good girl. Stand up. Good girl. What I don't want to do is tie her up and then not give her a choice to move away if she really, really, really doesn't like it. And you see, she's not over enamoured by it, but then she doesn't really dislike it. It's all strange to her. That's a good girl, well done. Is there a chance that she gets used to it, Ruth? And she, will she maybe just like sort of realise it's Realise when she's got it on, she isn't bothered by the flies as much and probably want it on, maybe? Yeah, well, that's the hope. Uh, so let me just fasten this up now. Uh, uh, come on, stand up. It's okay, it's not going to hurt. And where did this lovely fly net come from, Ruth? This was actually sent by one of our supporters, so thank you very much. I have got another one as well, which is a little bit thicker. Um, so uh, we're going to try this one for a, with the first, just because it's lighter. And, uh, oh yeah. Now then, it's not that bad, is it? No, no, not that bad. Okay. Now then. I'm not sure about this, man. Now just behave. Good girl. So this is the. I suppose it's similar to getting the feet picked up and going. Good girl. Used to people well down done, there. sweetheart. That's a clever girl. That's a clever girl. I will not reach too far near that, that leg. Good lad. Well now then. Who's a good girl? Well done, sweetheart. Well done. Good girl. So we've got it on, we've got it fastened, we just need to make sure that there's plenty of room. You saw me loosening the neck there because I thought it was too tight. I can get my hand in there now, so that's fine. 
but you don't want it too slack that she can get it caught on things. So again, this can't stop like this because she can get hold of it and pull it and rip it. So we need to tighten that up and fold it in. Good girl. Like that. Yeah, so it's not too tight there. Not too tight around the belly. She has kicked at it a few couple of times because it will, I mean, it's like anything around your belly and you're not used to it. Um, it's like, oh, oh, I don't know if I like that. Yeah, I, I, so I get it. Uh, but yeah, but she has got the fly mask as well. So we'll see how we go. And hopefully she should be protected. Now, obviously, we're aware that she might look a little bit silly. <laughs> She's like, I, I don't know what I look like. <laughs> well, she knows no difference. I don't think we've got any lions around these parts, so she should be safe. <laughs> no, I think the nearest lions in Yorkshire are like that. <laughs> so, all in all, I think that's a tip-top result. Uh, very yeah. well done to Blossom. She's, she's pretty relaxed in that. And um, although it might look a bit silly, it's a fairly serious subject for our Blossom, who really, really does suffer with that sweet dish. So, uh, hopefully, in the next few months, uh, it should help to cause, help to save her uh, lots and lots of uh, the issues. Discomfort, yes. Discomfort, yeah, the yeah, problems she's been having. It's not nice, is it, sweetheart? So, no. thanks very much for watching, and it's a goodbye from me. See you later, guys. And a goodbye from the biggest zebra in Yorkshire. See you later, bye. Bye.